Next year, 2015, marks an important milestone in the Vietnam-U.S. relation as the two countries celebrate 20 years of normalization of bilateral relations. Our VTV reporter Lan Ang had an exclusive interview with the new U.S. ambassador to Vietnam, Ted Osius, who has just started his term in Vietnam to learn more about the prospects of the two countries' relations in the coming time. Welcome to Vietnam, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you, Lan Ang. I'm very happy to be here. So 2015 is a very important year for U.S.-Vietnam relations. So how do you feel now, uh, starting your new term in Vietnam right before this important year? I feel great. I was here back when we began this relationship. I had the great privilege to work for Pete Peterson and even before him, Chargé de Say Anderson. And to come back on the 20th anniversary of normalization is a dream come true. What changes have you noticed in the country? A lot. It seems to me much more prosperous. It strikes me it's so much more prosperous, so much more modern. And I think people of Vietnam should be very proud of their accomplishments, especially in the economic realm. So you're back here in Vietnam in a new position. What is your plan to further boost bilateral ties between the two countries? And what areas will you focus on? I think is through deepening that comprehensive partnership. And I think there are probably about five areas where we can make major contributions. We can deepen our economic ties together with Vietnam and a dozen countries. We're negotiating the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. This is a, a phenomenal opportunity for us to work together in a way that will benefit Vietnam's economy. We can deepen our security ties. We can exchange ideas about governance, uh, we can have a stronger educational relationship, more educational exchange, and we can have a lot of cooperation in the area of science and technology, uh, the environment, especially climate change, and also health. So you did also mention um, climate change. Yes. What will U.S. do to cooperate with and support Vietnam in terms of coping with climate change and other global environmental issues? USAID has uh, a number of programs working with Vietnam to deal with some of the effects of climate change. Uh, we have the Lower Mekong Initiative, which focuses on improving the livelihoods and, and promoting sustainable development for the many, many people who live along the Mekong and who depend on the Mekong for their future and for their children's future. I think there's a tremendous amount we can do if we get our experts together. So I think there's a great deal we can do as respectful partners in dealing with the effects of climate change. So regarding war remediation, what will U.S. do to continue their remedial activities in Vietnam, especially in terms of dioxin remediation and demining in the coming year? When it comes to dioxin, we're uh, doing a lot of cleanup work in Da Nang Airport. And we will complete a study of Bien Hoa and find out what cleanup is required in Bien Hoa. We're already doing a lot when it comes to cleaning up unexploded ordnance, and I think we can do more in the future. Thank you so much for your time.